name and age? Christopher Ron Coleman, 37. Saginaw, Michigan born, and I live in Los Angeles, California. Uh, Paradigm, my own band. Drums, bass, keyboard, sax, trumpet. And occasionally the voice. I sound like a frog, though. Hmm, wow. I've never been asked that question. My strength. That's hard to say. I don't know. I don't know what I feel my strengths are. I guess I'm always trying to focus on my weaknesses. <laughs> um, wow. I guess I'd have to sum it up as command. You know, I, I feel um, based upon, you know, my thought process of something that I work on continuously is to have a full command or total command of the instrument. Sonar drums, Germany, Mino cymbals, Germany, uh, Evans drum heads, New York, Vic Fur Sticks, Boston. My uncle Richie, <laughs> Richie Coleman, he's the first. Oh, wow. My dad is a twin and they made a bet, uh, not, for, not for money, it was just a casual thing. They said, whoever has the firstborn son, we're gonna swap instruments. My dad is a sax player singer, my uncle is a singer drummer. So I'm um, born first, so my uncle came to the hospital, snared him with sticks, freaked my dad and my mom out. So I've had it in my, my system ever since. Uh, both, mainly self. Pure freedom, freedom of creativity. I love to be creative. I love that when I sit down on the drums and I say what I have to say, it's my voice. I've had um, all kinds of records in my possession. Earth, Wind and Fire, Shaka Khan. Um, those are given to me, you know, very young age, before I could even understand what music was. The records that I bought, I bought a lot of jazz CDs, you know, like Dave Buckles and Vinnie's and Dennis Chambers and stuff like that. Um, the latest thing that I bought was a Richard Bona CD. Um, I just bought the final CD of all of his CDs. So I now have the Richard Bona collection, and uh, he's been very inspiring. Yes, uh, the day my son was born changed my life. <laughs> I learned a lot from <laughs> life. <laughs> um, in addition to life, I learned a lot from Prince. I learned a lot from Stevie Wonder. I learned a lot from Shaka Khan. I draw inspiration from reality, you know, whatever's going on in my life, whatever's in front of me, whatever's, um, you know, whatever's going on at the current time, like right now we're dealing with this whole President Trump thing, so <laughs> that uh, I'm drawing inspiration, what, <laughs> you know, positive or negative, but I'm drawing inspiration from it. Ooh, Sting. Yeah, play with Sting. Or Peter Gabriel or, you know, somebody like that. Uh, motorcycling, snowmobiling, pool. I like outdoors, you know, I like to hunt. Um, I'm getting back into shooting my guns and uh, archery, bow and arrow, stuff like that. I'm an outdoor person. Live it to the fullest. Um, basically, you know, I'm saying the same thing as no regrets, you know. Um, that would be pretty much my life. <laughs> so, Chris, yes. um, thank you for taking the time. Um, we are already, or we are 
the London drum show is about to finish and yes. the drum set is already gone, so I have to improvise. If I had have to think of one question to ask you, I ask you about your specialty, about uh, what your clinics are about too, about counting. Okay, so um, whenever I play and don't have to count, I can play it. But um, when the counting comes in, I can't play it anymore. So counting sucks. <laughs> okay. The students said that, so they refuse to count. But okay. why is it so important to count? Counting processes everything that you need to do. And, and what it does is it, it makes sure that all of your connections are connected. You know, all of your wires are connected to your, the proper circuits. Um, and sometimes, you know, we play and then we hear something, but it's not played the way we heard it. Well, that means there's a disconnect, you understand? And it wasn't processed correctly. It wasn't lined up correctly, all right? Mm -hmm. So counting helps you uh, to process everything okay. and pull it all together. Mm -hmm. And even though it seems to be easy for you, I, I think it was not, you, you worked hard to, um, to get yes. that going. Very, very hard, yes. It took me a while, you know. I struggled in the beginning to count and play. Um, and I went back to my teacher and I said, man, I'm struggling, am I doing this right? And he simply said to me, he's like, slow down. I was like, well, wait a minute, what do you mean? He's like, he said, you know, when they're building a building, like this building here, you can't start on the second floor if the first floor is not there. And I was like, oh, I get it. It makes sense. Like, I have to completely finish the first floor because when you start the second, you need, you're going to put weight. You understand? Mm -hmm. And what that is, is how, the, how does that relate to music? You get on stage with some people who can count, hand read, they've been doing this forever, and you're struggling, it's gonna show up. They're giving you pressure, which is weight, you understand? And you will crack mm -hmm. <laughs> because you didn't develop and become solid. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I struggled in the beginning. And when he said that, I got it, I understood it. And then I just, I begin to enjoy the journey, meaning, okay, so we'll just go with the flow. It's not, I have to get done, I have to get this by, you know. That's anxiety, you know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, and that, that won't help you. So when you play in a band these days, do you count without even knowing it, or do you count conscious, consciously? Um, when I say count, I'm, I'm more or less mean count to understand. So that's going to be done in your practice room majority of the time. If I have to count while I'm on stage, it's a cold turkey gig. I've never played with these guys, and I'm sight reading something, or. I heard something, you know, and I'm like, I need to, you know, I'm, he's gonna, you know, it's like, let's just say I'm playing a song and I've never played with these guys before. Yeah, I need to count. I'm gonna keep the groove and they're gonna play these hits. So I need to count to get it. Why? Because on the very next eight bars, I got a solo. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they say, oh, it's your solo, but I don't know the solo section. So I just groove for eight bars. And I'm going, okay, now I got it. One, but because I counted through it, now I'm able to execute it within the same 16 bars. Okay. That's the advantage. All right. So if you count, you are in uh, advantage. So um, start counting. Yes, you must count. <laughs> and if you want to know more about uh, precision and power, then uh, you should go to... No, you don't have a website. I, I can't no. send them to your website. No, I don't have a website. I have Facebook, Instagram, and all of that. It's very costly to do a website when I can say everything I need to say through social media. Okay, well, go to the social <laughs> media and yes. also Precision and Power is an extraction of DVD. Yes. yes, you can get it through HudsonMusic.com. Yes. Amazon, yeah. various things, music centers, music okay. stores, you can order it. I list some links and um, there's also records out with you, you're playing. Oh, um, quite a few. Um, but you don't have to name them now, I can list them. Okay, we'll work on that. You, you need to eat and stuff. <laughs> so, thank you for your time. Yes, yes, thank you. And thank you for watching, tune in again. Yes. Bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Yeah.